Welcome to this video where we're going to focus on a blog post called Cake Sale. You will find this blog post at the web address given on the video. Now imagine you're organizing a cake sale and you're trying to sell different types of cakes including cupcakes at 40p per cake, macarons at 50p per cake and slices of cheesecake at 70p per slice. We're going to write a program to estimate how much money you're going to raise based on the number of pieces of cake you are planning to sell. Our programs will ask the user three questions. How many cupcakes do you plan to sell? How many macarons do you plan to sell? And how many cheesecake do you plan to sell? With this information, it will then calculate the total amount of money raised during this cake sale. And finally, it will output this information on the screen. So you can see that this program is based on the input, process and output. Now, we've started the code for you here and I'm going to zoom in so we can see this a bit better. Here we go. In this code here, we've got three variables. Cupcake price, which is set to 40p. Macaron price, which is set to 50p. And cheesecake price, which is set to 70p. And then we've got an input. This is the first step of our program. Um, and it's asking the user, how many cupcakes do you plan to sell? Now the user will type a number like maybe 20 and the program is going to convert this input into an integer which is a number and it's going to store this in a variable called cupcakes. So we're going to repeat that process three times for each types of cakes. So macaron equal int because I'm going to convert whatever the user will type into an integer input because I want the user to type something and I'm going to display a question here how many macarons do you plan to sell perfect and I'm going to repeat that one more time this time my variable is going to call to be called cheesecake int input How many slices of cheesecake do you plan to sell? And I wrote my marker at the end. Perfect. So these are my three inputs. I can test my program so far, see if it works. So I'm going to press the play button. How many cheesecake do you plan to sell? I'm going to plan to sell 20. How many macarons? 10. And how many cheesecake? Uh, 30. Okay, so far my inputs are working fine. Nothing happens because I haven't completed step two and three of this code. So let's complete step two, which is calculating how much money we expect to raise. So I'm going to create a new variable called total. And my total is going to be um, how many cupcakes I'm planning to sell, which is stored into this variable here, cupcakes, times by the 40p, which is this variable here, to which I'm going to add macarons times 50p plus cheesecake times 70p, which is this variable here. So it's going to be a long formula here. So cupcakes times um, 40p. Now, instead of 40p, I'm going to use the name of this variable here, cupcake price. Uh, it's highlighted in yellow because I made a spelling mistake here. Perfect. Plus, I'm going to times the number of macarons the user did input times the price of the macaron, macaron price. Plus, and I'm going to do the same with the cheesecake. Cheesecake times the cheesecake price variable. Cheesecake price, which is 70p. Perfect. And now that I've got this, I'm going to print uh, the output. So print in this cake sale, you will raise. And underneath, I'm going to display the total amount, so um, which is total. Okay, let's try this. How many cupcakes do you plan to sell? Mm, 20. How many macarons? 10. How many slices of cheesecake? 12. In this 
tech side, you would raise 21.4. Perfect. This sounds correct. Um, I don't really like the output here because it doesn't tell me the currency. So I'm going to customize my last print statement. I'm going to add to it a little pound signed. Um, to which I'm going to add the total. Now, Python might be a bit confused by this statement because I'm trying to draw in using the plus sign a string with a number. And it's going to be confused as to whether I want to do a mass addition or what we call a string concatenation, which is joining two strings together. So in order to make that clear, I'm going to convert that total, which is currently a number, into a string using the str function. Okay, in that case, I'm joining two strings together that's perfect. Let's try this. How many cupcakes? Um, five. How many macarons? 25. How many cheesecake? Four. In this cake sale, you will raise £17.3. That's perfect. Okay, we could customize it further, try to see how we could actually display two decimal numbers, but for now, I'm going to stop here. I'm just going to show you what happens if you scroll down on this blog post. You do have here a test plan. Uh, which um, you should complete once you've done your code. What happens here um, is to make sure that your code is working, it's asking you to input those values here and check what output you get from your program, but you should get £12.50. If that's the case, then you know this test is a pass. If it's not, you know you've made a mistake somewhere in your code. So I'm going to try this first test just to show you. Uh, so I'm going to play this code here. So the three inputs were 10, 10 and 5 and my output is 12 pounds 50 which actually is exactly what i was expecting here in this column so i'm going to see that this test did pass and i would have to repeat that several times this is just to be 100 percent sure that your code is working completely okay well i hope you found this video quite useful i'll let you type the code into your trinket window and then complete your test plan um, perfect goodbye for now